Hello everybody and welcome once again to Feed the Beast Ocean Block. Today we are going to do HDPE plastic sheets, well basically plastic sheets. So let's get started. So a quick run from the down through the process. We need HDPE pellets in the enrichment chamber. We can actually craft which but obviously using eight for one sheet as opposed to using three for one sheet. Obviously fast better in the enrichment chamber. The recipe for the pellets is from a substrate with oxygen and liquid ethylene. Now liquid ethylene is actually got from, let's have a look at the recipe for this, is got from ethylene. So you take ethylene and you concentrate it. Ethylene's a gas, a liquid ethylene is obviously liquid, but the ethylene is made by using biofuel from, with water and hydrogen. So in this particular recipe, we're using both hydrogen and oxygen in here to make and that has got a byproduct of ethylene, as you can see, and substrate. Um, I think that's about right, actually. I don't think there's anything else in here. Let's go back one more here. So there was 100 uh, so to 50 millibuckets of ethylene with one pellet. And ox telling me we'll make, um, well, sorry, I can't speak, one pellet and give a little bit back of ox a little return of oxygen. So you're only using half the amount of oxygen. So let's get started with this process because it's all set up down here. We need to give it power. I'm just thinking where we'll put it. Maybe we'll put it around about. Let's put it on the end of this, actually. Here, like this. And we can then drag it through. I've done a few changes to the process from last time, but not very many. I would need a... We've got some blocks. It's a bit heavy-handed. I think there's one, two, three... I think there's about four blocks that use it up. We'll dig up five, just in case. And then we'll put down the... Yeah, the advanced cable, advanced universal cable, just like that. Then we can go and get these machines. So this is the process, as I've showed you already. So let's just break everything up in here. This has in it um, hydrogen, but we've got hydrogen over the other side. I hope I haven't really tried this too hard, but <laughs> I think I made too many holes there. Never mind, the usual thing, we'll pick those up later on. So now, uh, again, machines go from left to right. So it's a question of which way we would like to put these. So here we've got oxygen and we need hydrogen. Now hydrogen is really fair distance away. I guess one of the tricks I used here was to put an oxygen, a chemical oxygen tank beside here. And you can set this to dump excess if you need to. So you're dumping excess, but then if it gets full, then it just dumps the excess. And it allows us to carry on producing hydrogen, as you can see. So we need to take the hydrogen, maybe out of here. I'm not sure. I'll tell you what we'll do. And we won't do it that way at all. We'll use a, a new water supply, I think. We'll do it that way. Probably be easier. So I'm, in here, I'm bound to have another um, electrolytic separator. Biogenerators. Chemical crystallizers. Chemical infusers. Chemical oxidizers, don't know, I've got quite so many of these crushers, dynamic tanks, electrolytic separator, good. And if I press shift on this, it should tell me, so it's maxed out in terms of um, speed and energy. I don't know what's got, it's, I'm not sure if it's got anything in it, so it doesn't matter very much. So we'll do it from left to right. So let's put down the first of these m machines, because they're, the bay in the box here, so in the bag, sorry. So we need to get here the uh, rotary condenser pressurized reaction chamber. I've forgotten the recipe already. Gosh, that's dreadful. Let's quickly go back here. One of the reasons to to make uh, PT, PD, PHDPE sheets is because you can make the solar neutron solon neutron activator. So you look at the use of Sheets is used for all sorts of things, mostly for armor upgrades, which we haven't done any mecha, mecha suit stuff yet. But this one here, and the uses of the solar neutron activator is to produce lithium, will produce tritanium, tritium, and nuclear waste will produce polonium. Polonium, the uses of that is to make these polonium pellets with um, fluoride dust and water. Water's no big deal. 
And the one for these polonium are used for all the higher level tier stuff, including the SPS casings. Um, it's also used in order to make a creative energy cube, which we're not going to do. I don't like extreme crafting, I'll be honest with you. Just a waste of time as far as I'm concerned. So let's go back to the recipes for this. One. So the pellets is my, oh, so the pressure pressurized reaction chamber is the last of these. We have the enrichment chamber and then the pressurized reaction chamber. The rotary condenser. Let's put that one down first. I need to give it some space, so we'll put it down here. And then we'll put down the um oh, I didn't take it out of the bag. The pressurized reaction chamber and then the enrichment chamber is at the end to produce the pellets, but here we've got sorry, pressurized reaction chamber. We've got two. Okay. So this one is making um liquid ethylene. There should be a where has it gone? Rotary condenser. Which I put down here. Yes, exactly. The rotary condenser will take the um, <clears throat> lick will produce liquid ethylene from ethylene. So we need the ethylene one. I'm not sure which one of these two it is actually. To be honest with you, look. So that's got liquid ethylene in it. So I think that goes on the other end of this, like this. Let's have a look at it. As you can see, this is taking substrate from with oxygen and producing HDPE pellets. That's right, yes. So we need the liquid ethylene coming in here. That's great. So this one here will be the liquid ethylene. This is going to take uh, make substrate with water and hydrogen and produce ethylene. So they're not going out of here yet because, of course, I, have, I haven't yet enabled everything. So that's fine. So that's fine. And the last one on the machine on here would be a the enrichment chamber. So let's put the enrichment chamber down at the bottom here. And that's going to produce HTP sheets. So the next thing we need to do, we need some water. Um, I think if we just put this the rotary electrolytic separator down here. No, no let's put it down here. Because in here we get we're getting oxygen, and in here, and in here we need hydrogen, which is perfect. So then we can split these two up into here. I was going to make sure that I, when I right click this, I'm going to shift right click this. Make sure what mode it is. I'm not, I'm not sure. Let's just check. So it's into fluids, which is fine, and we shall right click this. So it says to no. So it's set to none. Oops, didn't want to do that. Huh. Uh -huh. To go down a block and do it that way. Sometimes hard getting down a block. I should be able to. So I miscounted those. Right. That's set to none, but it's disabling it. Not what I wanted to do at all. I tell you what, we'll put the, um, we'll put a we'll put a pipe on here first of all. So we need some pressurised. Ultimate, just basic will do fine. Basic pressurized pipes. And you see that connects in. That's what I didn't want it to do. Uh, so what we can then do is we can then break this side off here. Like that. And then we can break this pipe. Or we could put some oxygen on. How much has he got? It's got eight buckets of oxygen. Don't care. We'll just break it. And we'll put it back down again. This time it doesn't connect into there, but it does connect into here. Fantastic. So we need to put one more pipe into here, and then we just set it up so that the oxygen goes, which is will be on this side, and the hydrogen will be on the, the blue side. So we need gases, blue and hydrogen. That's fine, and it's also set to auto eject on. Good. So all it needs now is some water. Let's go and get a tank. I'm going to use an ender tank for the start of this because it's fairly straightforward. Oh, try again. And just put the ender tank on top of here like this. And then right click the ender tank. And as you can hear, it's starting to work. I need to give this power, of course, because I haven't done that yet. So we just need uh, some power. Cable, where is it? 
No, not ultimate will do. Fine, just want the advanced. Why can't I see the advanced? Okay, I'll get some out of the bag. I'm bound to have some in the bag here, so I'm just wondering where it's gone to. Oh, yes, 46. Okay, let's put this down here. So that's now filled up with hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen should be in this side. So this is now full of hydrogen. Fantastic. And this side is now full of, is full of oxygen. And all the pellets are produced. And we've got some oxygen out. So what we're going to have to do with this, <clears throat> we have to change the back here to being an input and an output. So at the moment it's energy, and that's gases we want, of course. So everything's set to input. So we need to, this one to be set to input and output. And that should recycle the oxygen. Yeah, you see it's already emptied. I'm not sure where the oxygen's gone to. It's probably gone back into. Nope, it's fine, that's great. It's gone back into itself. So that's how you do that. So all we now need is, of course, is some biofuel. So biofuel I would normally put with a crusher feeding into these. Let's get the crusher out and do that one quickly. Pretty sure I've got a crusher here. So we've got ultimate factories in here like this. Uh, crusher. I don't know how you can find these things quickly. Enrichment chamber on crusher, great. So we can put the crusher down and then we can set it all up, make sure that everything works. So we can put the crusher down here, for example, and then we can feed that with some baked potatoes. This has obviously not got any speed upgrades in here yet. So let's go and get some speed grade upgrades out of the system. I've already got some prepared, so we will take some mufflers. We shall take some energy upgrades and we shall take some speed upgrades. And then we simply put these onto this machine like this. Oops. It doesn't take... Okay. Maybe it's got already got mufflers in it. So now it's got, now it's got speed upgrades in there. So you right click it and have a look in here. So it's got speed upgrades, energy upgrades, and muffling upgrades. I've already set. I don't know if it's got gas. No, it doesn't have any gas. So this is coming into here, as you can see. And the substrate is coming in and producing ethylene. The ethylene should be coming through here. So we need to set the ethylene as a gas. So this is a gas. So it's auto outputting, but it's actually auto outputting on the right hand side here. Outputting on the right hand side. On the left hand side, I've set it to input and output, but that's for something else. But of course, the substrate isn't going to be able to go across here into this machine like this. So, what we're going to have to do then is to um, feed it in, take a pipe going across the two. So, we should get some transport pipe out of here somewhere. Hopefully, I've got some transport pipe. And that went to the wrong place. Let's do, do it like that. Break the one. Uh oh, time for a fight. Sorry. Where are we? Right. So night time, of course. Lots of lots of phantoms around in this pack. I don't know why. <laughs> More than normal. That's right. So get bracket breakers. That one. I don't need it connecting into here. So we'll shift right click this off here. Like that. So that should be an output phase. If we change this mode now to items, shift and N. As you look at it, you see that's actually an input. So we need to make this an output phase. So let's just shift right click that. You can do that as well. And that should, if we set it up now to be an output, auto eject on. You'll see it's going out here and coming, those are coming into here. And as soon as that does that, it gets a liquid ethylene in here. So obviously liquid ethylene is here, but not yet being output. So that's the fluid. So auto eject on and it needs to go to the right. Like that. And as you can see, it's producing this fairly quickly and we're getting a reasonable amount of pellets. The pellets should be coming into the into the enrichment chamber here, so they're not yet, so let's just enable that. Item is, 
it's an, it's an item which it says here configuration is to auto inject like this and then of course this will be filling up fairly quickly it, it's useful to have some pellets anyway is to look at use of pellets you can make these HDPE rods and the use for the rods is to make a plus plastic and that's used in a pipe wrench from pipes okay I thought it had other uses to be honest with you <laughs> but it seems that it has oh there's one enrichment chamber that's right yeah okay so that's basically it no more uses for that so this is the process now and then once we've got a pet, once we've got one of these HDPE pellets, or 45 or 6 of them, we can then take those and use those for um, to make the solar activation. So let's have a look at the recipe for that one. I'm not sure if we, I'm not sure if we can craft it. I've set up a crafting recipe for this. Let's just see. I have. So we can craft one of those stars so it's got everything it needs to make one of these i'm not going to start it because we've already got i've already made one of those but that's it that's that's it for this episode as well so that's it for this episode i do hope you've enjoyed it next time we shall be carrying on with mechanism and doing the reactor as you can see i've already built it but we're going to rebuild that and set up the redstone to automate its turning off so until next time i wish you all the best bye for now